Hello there. In this video, we're gonna look at a free tool, Draw.io, and this can be used for diagramming, uh, wireframing, and a number of other things. So let's have a look at the website, and then let's see what the product can do. So landing on the website, it's letting us know it is a security-first diagramming for Teams. So you've got a little example here of, I guess, a diagram that you can create using the product. So let's scroll down and explore. So. Diagram files created in 2005 will load in the app today. So that's good to hear that it's it goes that far back and it's backwards compatible. Uh, you can share with everyone. So that's cool. There's an example of a diagram here. Some powerful features here. So it looks like you can collaborate in real time. And here on the left, you can see there's an infographic that's been created and privacy first. So it's obviously nice and secure and they say they can't access your data. So that's great. Let's keep going. So there's a number of integrations. So we've got Google, SharePoint, OneDrive, Atlassian, Notion, the usual people that appear in this list of integrations, which is great. I guess you can see more here. Uh, and that's it by the looks of it. I've clicked on features already, so let's open that in a tab. And let's scroll down just to kind of skim this documentation to see. So I guess this is an example of using the product and creating a diagram and how to use the different features within Draw.io. Uh, it's giving us some information on integrations. So it looks like here you can collaborate in real time and see different editors and people within the file, which is nice an easy to use diagram editor so it's given us an example here of it being used and by the looks of it there's lots of advanced features here it looks like ooh, auto layouts flows tags placeholders tool tips freehand shapes and so on and here's an example of some of the diagrams that have been created with this product cool okay so let's click on start now where do you want to save your diagrams to? I guess you can choose where you want to drop them into. For now, I'm just going to click decide later. And there we go, we're into the interface. So I guess it's kind of similar to Figma. We have a canvas and it's a gridded canvas. I guess this is more for the diagram side of things. So I've not used this before, but let's see what we can do. So hover over some of these elements and it gives me a preview of what they are. So let's click that places the element on the canvas, as it were. And that's quite good. It seems to snap to the different kind of grid points as I resize it. So that's good. And I'm guessing as I hover over, it's giving me different arrows and there's a plus. So I want to add, say I want to add a circle I can. I'm guessing on the style panel here we can change different colors. Yep, I guess there's loads of colors here. Nice, so we've got the fill, we've got a gradient if we want to add it. We can remove or add the line. Again, there's enough customization here for your diagrams or maybe for like very rough wireframes. Uh, let's see, what do we do when we click on sketch? Oh nice, so it changes the shape from a very refined, perfect circle to a sketch style. If I add shadow, that adds a shadow to it as well. It's quite cool. Click on edit. So you can do lots of different edit functionality, which is good. You can copy styles, set as default style. There's a lot of information in here that I won't go into in this video, but looks like there's a lot of customization so let's go to text if I double click in here so so let's see I'm guessing that's Helvetica I'm guessing yeah that controls the sizing you can underline it bold italic all the usual kind of typography customizations here you can give it a border color word wrap it formatted text okay you can adjust the opacity, so I'm just going to drop that to 50, it drops, yeah, that text goes down to 50%. And if I clear the formatting, that resets it. Nice. So this could be really useful. One is it's free, and I've just gone in here. I haven't paid anything, I've just create new. 
and it's just taken me straight into creating a diagram. So this could be great for user flows. Maybe you want to map out a journey so you could map the different steps using this. Uh, I'm just going to go into file and what's save as? Let's see. So you can choose to save it in different places, which is great. You can also save it to your device, which is useful as well. So you can save the file locally and you can always come back to it to edit it in the future, which is really good. Okay, let's have a just quick flick through what else is going on on this side of the page. So we have some different table elements, which is really nice. I'm guessing if I click that, it just chucks that on. Yeah. So you can customize this table. I'm guessing you can, yeah, you can move it around, change the values. Yeah, so you can edit that. Uh, you've got some different kind of textured objects, different icons. Let's go to advanced. Let's see what this is. This is a vertical tree layout. Okay, so it kind of pre-populates a little template for you to use. And then you can continue to add to this template. So this is the kind of thing that would be good to show maybe a navigation. So like you're mapping the navigation or the information architecture of a website or an app. This kind of style of tree layout is very, very good for mapping out that kind of navigation. Let's see what else we have in here. So we've got lots of other kind of mapping tools. Let's go to basic, got lots of other shapes. Have a smiley face, always useful. Uh, let's go down, so we've got different arrows, which I guess is great when you're joining up different elements on this canvas. We've got little flowchart elements. Got different let's see entity relations, so we've got different elements in here that we can use, which is really good. Let's go under UML, and then there's more items under here which you can explore. Okay, so I'm going to click on more shapes here. Um, it gives us, I guess, lots of filters, so we can filter by different types. So we've got infographics, we've got electrical things, we've got floor plans, material design threat modeling, signs. So there's a lot of different categories in here that you can use. By the looks of it, it seems to be, yeah, so if we click on the plus here at the bottom, it creates different pages. I guess this is kind of like Excel, where it just adds tabs to the bottom of the screen. So that's good, so you can have different pages for different designs. And then up here we've got, I guess we can add a ruler. So again, that's kind of similar to Figma. Find a replace, you've got layers, tags, outline, full screen. So that's full screen. Makes it a bit easier to see everything, which is good. Okay, so let's have a look at some example diagrams and templates that can be used using draw.io. So it's given us a little contents here. So let's just scroll down. So we've got software development. So there's some, uh, there's a Git flow here. We've got some diagrams. Okay, so Kanban boards different diagrams, let's keep going. Some very technical kind of diagrams that are coming up. Some mock-ups and wireframes, let's open this one. Uh, that looks like it's opened up in draw.io, so let's go to edit. Okay, that's good, so it brings us into the wireframe and how they've created it. And here are the different elements. So you can use it, for some very rough designs. I think this could be quite good if you wanted to draw out maybe some very rough wireframes and you could put together some pages. I think it would work quite well. So maybe for someone that's not a designer and they wanna just put something together really, really quickly to showcase what they want in a design, maybe this could be a good tool. So they can create something very rough in here and then they pass it off to the designer and the designer can then take it into Figma and make that design higher fidelity with more detail. Okay, let's have a look in some of the examples again. So we've got a 3D one here, let's click on that. Actually, let me just do that again, but open in tab. Okay, so there's like a 3D mock-up here. And you can go in, click on edit and see how they put it together. 
So that's quite cool. So it shows that you can create things in 3D within here. So it's a nice diagram kind of indicating, I think this was for AWS. Yeah, there's an internet of things diagram. Let's have a look what else we have. There's a Google platform one, security one, racks and cabinets for servers. So I guess that's the diagram for how you would map out your server. Tree diagrams and org charts. So let's click on one of these. So this is the hierarchy of a company. So people at the top, CEO, COO, and then you've got different departments, department leads, and then the other roles within that. So that's really good. So again, if you wanted to map out that kind of thing, you could use draw.io. So we've got mind maps and concept maps, things that are related to engineering here. So we've got circuit and logic diagrams here. And then so on, we've got flow charts and I'm sure the list goes on and on and on, but you can use the wizard within draw.io to explore this. I would encourage you to go to draw.io.com, check it out, have a play, it's free. So maybe if you're wanting to build out a wireframe, a flow, a technical diagram, this could be a great tool for you to use. Okay, so that's it for this video. Like and subscribe, add some comments, check out some other videos on my channel, and I will see you in the next video.